Hey guys, it's Lucky Ghost here with another quick video on ESO. Um, this one's going to go over the settings because a lot of times people will come into chat and ask me, how do I get my screen to look like yours? Uh, half of that equation is the add-ons. The other half is actually here in the settings menu and it's something a lot of people um, never really take the time to dive into or um, they're not really sure that they even should. So I'm going to go over the settings that I change away from default. Now, one thing to be aware of is that some of these settings are character based. Uh, ESO has chosen to um, make you change some of these settings on each and every character individually. And I'm not sure why. So if you get on a character and it's different, uh, you got to go into these settings and for that character. Again, I'm not sure why, uh, but that's how they do it. So uh, here we go. Um, the first one is the scale. I, I slam the scale left a bit. I want it to be smaller. Um, I like my UI to take up as little room as possible. And with all the add-ons, um, it can start taking up a lot of space. Now you see my combat metrics is very small. My map is small. Everything's quite a bit smaller. I've moved that to the left. Next up, we've got... uh let's see right here under combat gameplay combat friendly brightness uh enemy brightness they both start at one by default and we're gonna move these up to 50. this is gonna make sure that during all the chaos of combat we still see these colors on the floor so we know yes stand in this no get out of here uh this is gonna kill you uh this starts off as red but uh, there was a couple of tile sets in the game where I just really couldn't see the red as well as I wanted to. So I changed it to pink and that seems to stand out more in more places. So slam those over to 50. Uh, change this to pink if it suits you. If you like red or any other color, go for that. Uh, another thing I did was I turn off dull, uh, dodge roll. Now, if you're new to the game, do yourself a favor and turn this off now uh, and go to your controls and bind dodge roll to uh, an actual button on your keyboard or on your mouse uh, somewhere that's convenient because I guarantee you if you haven't already you will kill yourself or your group um, by trying to inch to the right to get out of a, some kind of combat mechanic or get behind a pole so the explosion doesn't kill you in one of the trial fights. And instead of inching, you're going to double tap too fast and your character's going to roll all the way out and into the open, killing you, possibly others. Um, it happened to me. I knew it was going to happen. It finally happened and ruined a no death run with 5% left on the boss fight. So I finally went and I I fixed it. I, I, chained, I turned a uh, double tap off uh, and got used to dodge rolling with a button yeah it takes a few minutes to get used to but you'll be surprised at how fast you pick that up do yourself a favor change it um okay so uh next up will be uh prevent attacking innocence this is a nice one especially when you're new at the game um this will prevent you from accidentally firing an arrow into uh, an innocent merchant in tamriel and picking up a hefty bounty in the process. And just turn that on, unless you are really wanting to kill NPCs in town um, for a quest or, you know, the Dark Brotherhood or something. I usually just leave this on. Quick cast ground abilities. Turn this on. Um, you should be pointing where you want the ground ability to go when you press the button, and it will go there if you turn this on. Um, it's really going to slow down your damage output as a DPSer if you're having to click the ability and then choose a location and click again. Uh, it just adds a lot of steps that don't need to be there. Turn this on. And then next up, auto loot. A lot of times, um, if I've got the inventory space, I almost always have this on. Right now I have it off because inventory is limited. I have to be choosy about what I pick up or else, you know, I'm two bosses into a dungeon and my inventory is full. Uh, I've got to sell some stuff. I've got a decon. 
you gotta do a lot of inventory management. But usually I leave this on. I highly recommend you giving it a try if you're not currently. Next, hide polymorph helmet. If you're ever running through the game and you notice uh, your your weapon is sliding under your feet, it's not in your hands, you're swinging nothing. Come into the menu, turn hide polymorph helmet on, and boom, no more weapon surfing. Uh, it'll fix that for you. I don't know why, but it does. Uh, so just come in here, turn that on, boom, your weapons will be in your hand. That glitch will be gone uh, forever. If you experience it again, it's probably because you're on a different tune and all these settings have not been changed by you yet. Go to now, interface. Next one, uh, display name. I usually go with, I always go with, prefer user ID. Uh, by default, the game shows you everyone's character's name. Some people have 18 characters. That's a lot of names to keep track of. Uh, when someone's walking up to you, I like, or if they're in your party, I just like to know who they are. Um, but if you're big into RP, leave the character name. Otherwise, uh, user ID, it's pretty handy to know who you're interacting with. And it can be tough to keep up with all 18 of their characters' names. And that's it in here. Oh, latency, frame rate. These are nice little toggles uh, to turn on if you're interested in that information. Nameplates, turn them on. If you're brand new to the game, uh, these are off. And uh, yeah, the world looks beautiful without nameplates, but when you turn these on, it shows you who's a merchant, who's not, who's just a stable boy. It gives you a lot of information uh, that you otherwise would have to completely guess at. So come in here, turn this on, especially as a new player. This is going to help a lot. All right, combat. We've got a few things in here that are very useful. Um, a lot of times people will come and they'll see my health bar, my magicka, my stamina. They're always up or my abilities. And when I'm not doing anything, you can see all of these abilities here. Now, by default, they'll disappear when you're wandering around, when you're in between battles, which can be frustrating because you're not sure, like, is my magicka full or empty as I approach this uh, enemy? My stamina empty. I don't know because it disappeared um, using, you know, whatever automated formula they use. Um, and then also if you're new, you're not sure what ability is on what bar. Um, and this is gone. And so is it on cooldown from the last fight? You're not sure. You're approaching the enemy blind. So come in here. Go to combat and click always show, always show for your ability bar and your attribute bar. Very useful. Resource numbers, um, I have it off right now. If you're not using an add-on that puts them there, uh, turn it on. And then that way you can see actual numbers. You know what you've got to work with. If you see overlapping numbers um, down here, like you'll notice, the, there's two different numbers. They're the same number, but they're like overlapping from two, di two different things are telling it to put a number there. It's usually because you have an add-on that's putting those numbers there, and then here you have source numbers on. So just turn them off in one of those places. I turned it off here, let my add-on take care of it, uh, and that works out pretty well for me. Combat text, I turned on. This is completely optional, uh, but this will put numbers above the enemy's heads when you hit them, telling you how much damage you've done. And that's it. Those are the main ones um, that I changed that resulted in the look that I have. Uh, you can see again, you know, the UI is pretty small. Um, certain information is always up. Customize it to your heart's extent. Um, and, or customize it, you know, the way you like it. There's no right or wrong way. But uh, that's, that's how I got to where I'm at. And those are the most useful settings for beginners that I feel like the game didn't have on by default. So give them a try. All right, guys, I'm out of here. Yeah, for more videos like this, be sure to hit the subscribe button, the bell, and if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. If there's any other questions you have or if there's a video you want me to make, um, be sure to put it in the comments, and I will do that. Thanks.